three man dice out in front. Mark Sal, the leader. Gary Lingham is second. Roger Manette is third. And it's so good to see three young, talented British boys. And Lingham's in front. Gary Lingham is out in front. And six seconds the gap between Steve Parrish and the leader of that trio at the end of that lap. And that is by no means a difficult deficit to make up in the amount of laps that we've got left. Indeed, especially, especially if these three guys are, are bulking each other into each corner. They're on their 18th lap. In fact, we're at the halfway stage, 17 and a half laps. So we've got another 17 and a half laps to go. Roger Bennett looking for the inside line. Can't quite make it. Parish in fourth place. Messera of Italy is fifth. The leaders into the chicane. Eighteen laps gone. Seventeen more laps to go. With Gary Lingham leading Mark Sal and Roger Manet. pace is not particularly quick Chris um, these guys aren't having to slide the bikes around quite as much as they would be normally in this particular race so I would think that uh, since it's not ever so hot of a oh having said that I'll keep my mouth shut from now on sorry Gary um, what I was saying was that the pace wasn't particularly hot and Steve with a clear road in front of him should be able to catch these guys up in the next five or six laps the gap between Steve Parrish and this three the same at the end of that lap as it was the lap before Still very close to six seconds. And Roger Burnett now through to second place. Not for long, though. Mark Sal just outguns him down the back straight. Burnett has the inside line and he's got him back again. That was a nice manoeuvre. As long as they keep doing that, it gives Parrish a chance every lap to catch them up because they're holding themselves up. And you can see now the gap between Parrish and it's 3.5 seconds now. This is the Italian Massimo Messera, who riding bike number five is in fifth place at the moment. He tries he might. He can't catch the four British boys ahead of him. And Roger Burnett's dropped back there, and Steve Parrish is about to gain third position by the looks of things. Sal, Lingham, Parrish. That's the order. And they've done 25 laps. And uh, they have a little bit of problem getting past Peter Lemstrom. <laughs> and Parrish, I think was thinking about the inside line then and Lemster definitely getting in the way it's unfortunate but he hasn't got eyes in his bum so he can't really see what's coming from behind which is difficult for motorcycle and races there's a three-way charge down the back straight Parrish cleverly just moves over making life very difficult for Gary Lingham Steve Parrish up into second place a lot of experience there Keith yeah for sure I mean it showed in that